All right. How it works is uh, you give it a big long list of keywords. These are all your keywords right here. Uh, keyword one, keyword two, and so on. Okay. These keywords are then taken and put into its little processor. And then it goes out and it finds SEO, um, organic results, paid results, the meaning of the keyword, and a couple of, of other variables. And it looks at all those. And so now it has a list of all these keywords, and all of them have, have a scores. Like it has an organic score, a page search score, the meaning score, and so on. And then what it does is it goes through the list of all these keywords and it says, okay, this keyword and this keyword, how closely related are they organically? How closely related are they in PPC or in paid search? How closely related are they in the actual meaning of the keyword? And, and it does that for a couple of other variables. Then what you get is it says, is it says okay, these two keywords are, close, are closely related. Let me check another keyword. This keyword is also closely related. This one is not really related to those, so I'm going to put it in its own group. Let's check the next one. The next one, it fits best with this group. The next one fits best with this group. Uh, this one's kind of off by itself. The next one, off by itself. Oh, another, uh, and it finds another one and so on. And so eventually, what you'll find is you essentially have this big list of keywords. And as you can tell, there's obviously groupings. So this is a, is a good grouping. This would be a good grouping and so on and so forth. Now what it'll then do is it'll take these little orphan guys here and it'll say okay now that I've got these orphan guys let me go back and look at all the at, at this group and this group and the, uh, these other groups and see if even though it's not a perfect match if it would be okay in one of those groups and if it finds one it says okay I'm gonna put you in this group so now this one has three and he's off by himself but if there's a bunch of them like let's say there's one here and one here that they really don't fit in anything, it'll take the, le the leftover orphans and put them in their own orphan group. And so when it comes back, you'll have, this will be uh, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, and this will be the orphan group. And then that's the very short version of how it works. Now, the next step on top of that is once you actually use Keyword Grouper and you get all the keywords grouped and sorted for you, then you can say, okay, I've got this group right here and I've got four or five keywords in this group. Now, I'm really curious, what are the most popular ads for this group? Because then you can look at it and see if, uh, if you're even close on what you're trying to advertise it or, or not. So then it'll look at the ads for uh, the top, I don't know, 20 or so ads for every single keyword. And then it says, okay, let's say the ad shows up for this one and this one and this one, but it doesn't show up for, for any of these. Then uh, the next ad, let's say it shows up for this one and this one, but it doesn't show up for this one or this one. And then maybe there's an, there's an ad that shows up for this one, but doesn't show up for, for the others, and so on and so forth, all the way on down through all of them. And then it ranks them, and those that show up the most show up at the top. And so let's say you wanted to grab the top five or ten ads for all these keywords. Essentially, it's going to be looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 20. So it's, it's going to be looking at about 100 ads. And it's going to say, out of those, out of those 100 or so, so most popular ads, which of those show up the most? And that's how it sorts them and picks the ads that are, that are most common for that, set of key, for that set of keywords. And that is the quick version. If you want to look at the long version, Look for the other video, there's, there's a, there's a three-part